You birdie Cattleman, 1873. Colt Single Action Army Replica. Forty-five Colt. Going hot. Going back to the Old West. It's really bear down, see where it's going. High and left. And these aren't adjustable. That was a heck of a flinch. And the sights aren't adjustable, they're fixed sights, so you get what you get. Uh, a lot of single actions, Colts uh, tend to shoot high, so that's not that abnormal. Good times. Five empty 45 Colt cases. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm going to need to wipe off my hands now before I handle it again because it's a nickel and it's never, it's all, well, it's already, it's, it's plastered with already got carbon and fingerprints all over it, so that's great, but it can't stay shiny at the range. I bought it to get dirty and shoot it, so let's shoot it some more. This is, this is a badass pistol, man. It, it really does take you back to the Old West. It really does. It's got a pretty nice trigger. It seems very well made. Uh, the fit and finish on this is honestly fantastic. Really nice. And I'm not in really in, this, in great sunlight, but it really does look really nice. Barrel's nice and warm for some reason. But this is just such a great length, man. Great length. I'm, I'm really happy with this. I would highly recommend it to someone who wants to get into single action. Or, um, I'm sure a lot of guys in SAS use these because they're not, you know, 1300 bucks like a Colt. I would love to own a Colt. I would love to own a Colt. I own many Colts. I don't need any more. Well, one more wouldn't hurt. Just like with Colts. I would love to own a Colt, an actual Colt single action army, but they start at like 1300 and they're incredibly expensive. This is, they're around, these are around six. You could probably get them used for cheaper and they're extremely well made. Like this isn't, you know, this isn't a Rossi, this isn't a Taurus, this is, um, for a replica, these are very, very nice, man. They're, they just feel like quality, they sound like quality, they shoot like quality. And highly recommended. Highly recommended. And there's there's just nothing like single actions. And these, as you notice, 
actually operate like an actual colt would they still use the old leaf spring all the, in, the internals are pretty much exactly the same as a colt pretty much um, the loading gate is just just a gate it does nothing with the cylinder you have to put it on half cock to release the cylinder with a Ruger put that down there we'll leave it pointing down range with the Rugers they're also you know they're Rugers they're built extremely well also um, they're, they're tanks. You can shoot these all day, all life. They're not going to let you down. But with these, the loading gate actually releases the cylinder. Um, you don't have to put it on half cock or anything. They have transfer bars. They use modern coil springs. The internals are way different than a, than a Colt or a Colt clone as we call them. But you still get that feel. All right, you still feel like you're back in the old west. You know, desperados, people up to no good, some dude cheating on his card game. Take him out with a Ruger, work just as good. But anyway, back to the Uberti. Just like with a Colt, gate opens to release the cylinder. You got to put it on half cock, and then you can eject the round. And this is part of the romance with this gun right here is how you eject these rounds. It's just takes you back, man. This is this is like for me getting to live those old westerns I grew up watching, you know. Just badass. Yep, let's shoot it again. What? Well, let's just shoot it some more. I'm up for that. It's already dirty. And I was expecting these are, I'm shooting um, Winchester Super X. Cowboy action, lead flat nose. And I was kind of expecting them to be a little on the soft side, but they got some punch to them. Um, I know the American Eagle is a little hotter than that. I'd like to get some of that, but this is not what this gun's for. This isn't a 454 console, all right, um, on my list also. This is a 45 coal. It's not meant to be a magnum. You don't want to try to make a magnum out of it. You can if you reload. But I don't want to do that to this gun. You know, I don't want to wear it out. I really don't. I just want to shoot it. Hit the cowboy. Plate. And that other plate. Sometime. Got it. Tin can. If I could. Man, I got a bad flinch today. That's probably why I missed that 16. Oh, man. Half cock. Unload that sucker. Good times. Good times. And that round, man, it's just, it's badass. This is what I'm shooting. That Winchester Super X Cowboy Action Load, 250 grain, which is I th I'm pretty sure the original loading. It looks like I don't know if that is, but it looks like an old Western town on there. It's pretty cool. Quit cheating at them cards, cowboy. Well, I gotta say, I am very happy with this Uberti 1873 Cattleman. It's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pistol. A, a beautiful representation of the single action armies, and for an affordable price. And it's not covered in some obnoxious safety for import reasons. There is safeties on here, and I'll show you that here in a second. But they don't do anything that ruins the look. It feels and shoots just like it should. It's it's a it's beautiful. That's I mean I can't say that enough, man. And I never thought that I would reach the point where I wanted a single action pistol. 
let alone one in nickel. Uh, I originally wanted one of these in the case hardened frame, blued cylinder and barrel and I still am thinking about getting one. In fact I'm thinking about a Colt but having kids to raise might elongate that process. But this will definitely do until, and this will be something I never, never get rid of. It's a sweet shooter for for fixed sights. I'm happy with where it's impacting. I think it's a little high. Windage seems to be okay the more I shot it. And the more I get adjusted to it, the better I'm going to get with it. It's got beautiful wood, beautiful wood on it. It's got those fire blue screws. Colt does the same thing with theirs. So it's not, that's not out of place. It's just, it's just so much fun, man. Loading it, half cock, putting in your rounds, you know, all the way back and then forward with these old actions. With the Rugers, like I say, you don't even have to mess with the hammer, so that's not an issue. But the leaf spring system, you need to go all the way back and then down. Don't go down, don't go down from half cock. It's, I can't get enough of this, I can't get enough of it, man, I really can't. Like, I would be, I would shoot 500 rounds today if I had it down here with me. I really would. Now, the, the safety I was talking about is on the base pin. That's one thing that's not actually a true representation of, an, of a single action army. The base pin has two notches in it instead of just one. If you look at it, it's sticking out a lot further than it should. That's because it's on fire. If you push it all the way in, that's now on safe. And what happens is it actually, the base pin actually protrudes, protrudes out of the back. I don't know if you can see it there. It's at the, at the bottom here. And what it, what it does is it prevents the hammer from going all the way into the primer. So you could, I guess, you could carry six in these. I would not suggest it. Um, with Ruger's, you could because you have the transfer bar. I mean, this this is this is not for carry though. So who cares? You know, this is for prowling around on your farm, on your ranch, on your compound, at your range. This is not for self. It can be self for self defense. You could you could definitely defend your life with this. Um, would I go to war with it? No. Do I expect to go to war? Not really. So I'm not worried about that. I have stuff that would definitely help me in that department if we ever get to that point. Hopefully we never do. Um, just a great pistol. Great, great pistol. Super happy with it. Highly, highly recommended, guys. You've got to get one of these, man. If you don't have a single action... Even if you have a Ruger, man, look into one of these because this this takes you back. A Ruger will too. The new Vaqueros are very nice, very very nice, built well, but they they're they're modern versions. Modern, I mean, coil springs, trigger um, transfer bars. The gate for some reason the gate unlocks the cylinder. No half cock. Um, this really takes you back. This, this takes you back in history, man. It's, it's like holding a 1911. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the subs, the views. I'm glad you came by. I'm glad I got to share this experience with you. I picked this up last week. Today was the first time I got it out, so I was more than happy to share the first, the first few rounds with you guys. And I'll see you next time.